The density project. Task. Use density to see if items are really what the companies claim that they are. We're going to be looking at a steel screw and some chalk and see if they're made out of the real stuff or not. Procedure. Find the mass of the item and record it in the table. We're going to record the mass of the screw here and the chalk there. So I have here on the balance, I have the, the screw and I'm going to slide these things back and forth so that the white line over here balances with the zero. So I'm going to move this over to the 30. And that is not enough mass. So I'm going to slide this to the 40. And that's now too much mass. The needle is too low. So I'm going to slide this back and then add individual grams here. That's pretty close. Almost there. Add some more. Okay, that's pretty good. So we're going to add up this number back here. Let's see if we can get that in focus. There, it clicks into focus. Add that number plus this number plus that number there. And that will be the number of grams for the steel screw. Step number two. Put some water in a graduated cylinder and record uh, record the level. So here's the graduated cylinder. Let's get some more light on the area. There we go. So the water level, I. I've made the, uh, the water blue to help see it. There's a good, good light for it. So you can see that it's more than 40, less than 50. Read that as accurately as you can. I'll give you a hint. It is not 45. Okay, so you're going to record that in the initial water level. And now we're going to slide the, uh, st the screw in. And the water level is going to go up. Okay, so now you can see the new water level. I guess there the lighting is best. That's going to be the, f the final water level. So on your sheet here, You have now written down numbers for the initial water level and the final water level. Subtract those to get the volume sample. And then you're going to divide the mass from the top line. Divide the mass by the volumes of the sample and that will give you the density. Okay, next we're going to do the same thing with the chalk. So the first step, find the mass. So we put the chalk on the ballots, and we're going to slide these things back and forth.
Okay, that's pretty well lined up. And here is the mass reading. We have 0, 0, and then this number here. There, you can read that. It's not clicking into focus very well. Let's try this one more time. Okay, now then. Record that in your chart on the top for the chalk, the number of grams. Okay, now the initial water level. We're going to use a different graduated cylinder. Get some better light on the situation. It's right at the 50. It's hard for me to get this into focus, but the water level is right at 50. And now we're going to slide the chalk in and get the final water level. It's going to go up just a little bit. You can see the increments on the left side of the graduate cylinder. So you can count up how many it went up. Okay, so now you have the final water level for the chalk. Subtract the final water level minus the initial water level, and that will give you the volume sample for the chalk. And then you divide the grams by the volume, and that will give you the density. And now you can answer the questions on the analysis section in Skyward.